welcome and if you by DJSPRC. I want to say thank you to Great Hobbies for letting me do this. And today we have one of the, I would say, pretty much talked about vehicles. It is the TRX4M. We do have the Defender and the Bronco here. Uh, direct competition to the Axial XCX10, XCX24, should I say. Uh, they are a little bit bigger. I'll grab one in a second or two here just to show you the difference. But I just want to take a little bit of time and show you these vehicles here. They're, they're really not bad. Seriously, not bad at all. Uh, we have the Defender here. Basically, it's a <laughs> scaled-down TRX-4. <clears throat> the Bronco does have the uh, physical jack, the gas cans, and the spare tire. And the roof rack, too, on top. With the snorkels and with even then detail-wise mirrors, handles, uh, winch on the front bumper. Yep. And we have the Bronco beside it. <clears throat> Same thing again. It has some details. Uh, yeah, it has the mirrors, the spare tire in the back. Not sure if they're uh, able to upgrade them to light kits to, with Traxxas. That's a big possibility. We'll find out in a second when I remove the covers. The wheels are different on both. But I would say the chassis is pretty much banged on the same. Let's remove the cover of the Bronco. And they kept with the, the clips. There's one in the front and there's one in the back to remove it. And if we look inside, yeah, I'm ready to say they'll have a light kit for these guys. It is clear inside. <coughs> We do have an all-in-one speed control. ECM 2.5. It is at 2.4 gigahertz. With a 180 motor. And this I'm ready to say is... Not sure what servo it is. They do say it's a heavy duty. I hope it's still gears. But that looks like a, a smaller one of the of Traxxas. If it's still gear, that's good. The bumpers have lights on the Bronco itself in front. It does have plastic shocks. They are adjustable with... Uh, you just put some spacer in it. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the Defender. Defender is the same thing too. I'm ready to say they'll have a light kit for it. And if we compare both of them side to side, you could... Uh, was it because of the tire? You would say which one is which. Again, same shocks. It does have a aluminum frame. That I do like. Straight axles. I'm ready to say they're close to portals in front, but these are not portals. You do have plastic drive shafts, the links are plastic. They'll probably have a lot of upgrades or hot racing will make make a lot of upgrades for these guys. One thing I do love about the, the clip system, super easy to clip. 
There you go. Let's uh, let's grab the SCX24 to see what we can see and the difference of sizes. I have the Bronco of the 24. If we compare Bronco to Bronco, you see there's a difference in sizes. <coughs> and it's a little bit longer. A little bit wider. And a little bit higher. I'm not sure on what scale Traxxas did grab their stuff. Say 45 degrees steering angle. It comes with a 750 milliamp battery, two cell. It's a Titan 180. An ECM 2.5 electronic. <laughs> Makes me laugh a bit. Uh, it comes yeah, with a 750 with a USB charger. It's a nice vehicle. Seriously. I might add one to my collection. Not sure yet. They're not available as the day I record this video. But they will be soon. <coughs> If you want to place a pre-order and you're in Canada, go check out Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com for all your great hobby needs in Canada. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate it a lot. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.